New tonight, case closed, but maybe not so much. An eight-month-long internal investigation revealed the Matthews Police Department was inflating some of its statistics by roughly 40 percent. A Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis here in the studio to explain what information was painted in a favorable light. Morgan? Yeah, Alicia, we're talking about case closures. The investigation found that for at least four years, officers and investigators were commanded to categorize cases by case closed by other means, making it look like the department was solving cases at an abnormally high rate when in actuality, they weren't. We found this issue, but uh, this is what we're doing to correct it. Becky Hawk started as the town of Matthews town manager in April of last year. I received some information from members of the department that there were some concerns that they thought needed looking into. A month later, she ordered an eight month internal investigation into the police department. They did find that there were some issues specifically related to our case closure rates in our department as well as some of the way that our crime statistics were classified, but more than that, kind of how that information was then taken and communicated out to our community. The investigation found the department was incorrectly categorizing cases as closed by other means. It resulted in a 75% rate of solved cases instead of, more accurately, about 28 to 35%. Hawk says the officers and investigators were getting pressured by superiors. We do know that it was a, a command directive to clear cases and, and utilize that category in order to do that. Those responsible have been held accountable or they're no longer with the department. And now current staff is reviewing all cases falsely categorized to make sure nothing's been missed. The vast majority of them that they're finding so far, it really, they just should have been categorized as inactive. There weren't other leads that could be followed up on. If new information were to come to light, it would absolutely be reopened and that would be followed up on. Hawk says transparency isn't just a buzzword and she's hoping to regain the community's trust. The men and women that are there, they're doing a great job and we, we believe in them, we trust in them and we want our community to feel the same way. And so that was that was why we made this decision to bring this forward and own it and talk about how we're going to fix it and be able to move forward successfully. So it's important to note they say this did not impact how various crimes were investigated, but rather painted the department in a more favorable light. They plan to publish more comprehensive data on their findings. They're hoping in the next couple of weeks. Alicia. Morgan, thank you so much for that.